All right, um, we'll get started and I'm gonna let Mary Ellen open us up tonight. Can you hear me now? Okay. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Let's try this again. My name is Mary Ellen Jones. I'm the Youth and Family Supports Manager at Stonebelt. I've had the pleasure of overseeing Project Search, including this round of studious interns. I'd like to start off by giving you a little background about Project Search. Project Search is modeled on a nationally recognized program developed at Cincinnati's Children's Hospital. Project Search provides students ages 18 to 24 with quality paid and unpaid internship experiences. Through Project Search Indiana, participants experience innovative employment and career development opportunities. Stonebelt started the first young adult model in January of 2010 with five young adults. You are now the 14th class to complete this program. In the previous 13 rounds, 86 young adults completed the program and 75 of them found jobs. That's an 87% success rate. One even found a job during this pandemic. 21 of those employed have been hired by one of our project search partners and the rest have found jobs elsewhere in their communities. This round of interns started and ended with four interns. Many times we may start off with a number greater than what we end with, and that could be for various reasons. Some individuals can just not finish the program. This round of interns was faced with barriers greater than any of our other rounds have ever met, the pandemic. During their third internship, the world was starting to shut down. Suddenly, most of modes of transportation stopped, business doors closed, and there was such a great uncertainty in the air. We were left without a place to teach, and it was now all of a sudden dangerous to be in public. We were faced with the challenge of how to continue to teach these important skills. And I'm proud to say that although there were adjustments, we never stopped teaching and they never stopped learning. We had to move our instruction online. Some work was even sent home via mail. Interns continued working with their supports and own transportation means as the situations allowed. I'm very proud of these interns, of our instructor and the families that were behind the scenes with all of the support. We got this far because everyone was dedicated, had the drive and the work ethic to finish what they'd started. Tonight, we're gonna hear from the interns themselves as they share with us their experiences during their time in Project Search. And to get started, Karis Pickart, our project search instructor, will share some more information and do the introductions. Thanks, Mary Ellen. I'm Karis, if there are any of you here who I haven't met yet, and I've been the instructor for the past couple rounds um, of project search. Um, graduates, obviously this round didn't end how we were expecting, but that actually brings me to my final lesson for you which is that unexpected stuff happens. In your life and in your future employment, you're bound to come across unexpected events and changes in the plan. The beginning of your employment journey probably didn't look like how you thought it would, but that's life. We make a plan, things change, and we adjust our plans accordingly. COVID taught this lesson far better than I ever could have. I hope that in your futures, you never let unexpected changes steer you off course completely but use it as a way to grow and improve yourself instead. I hope you continue to be open to learning in new environments, set goals for yourself, and don't quit until you reach your goals. I wanna say thanks to my bosses, Mary Ellen Jones and Bitta DeWeese for coming up with and allowing creative solutions, and to my students for going with the flow from learning to use Zoom to completing assignments from home. I will always remember and be grateful for the opportunities I've had as your project search instructor. As some of you know, Friday is my last day with Stonebelt and it's been an honor to work here um, for two really great years. Um, finally, I wanna give a shout out to Ivy Tech who has been the host of Project Search for um, about 10 years now. 
They give space for the classes, multiple internships, and our usual celebration space. As part of the program, Ivy Tech awards each graduate a free three credit course. So graduates look for those along with a USB with your resume and Animoto on it to come in the mail. Um, that's all I have to say. Um, so we'll move forward with our intern introductions. First up, we have Abigail Stone. Abigail came into Project Search with no work experience, but did extremely well in her first internship at Stonebell IT anyways. She continued to impress her bosses and coworkers in her second internship as well and learn new tasks and got used to a new work environment in her third internship. Abigail has a passion for writing and anime and a deep knowledge of movies and TV shows. She's always ready to talk about her favorite movies, shows, or topics and can make conversation on these subjects with just about anyone. Abigail asks questions when she's unsure about things, always wants to learn more, and readily speaks her mind. For her firmness in fighting for what she believes in, Abigail wins the Self-Advocacy Award. Um, Abigail has prepared a little speech, so I will take her off of mute and let her take it away. My name is Abigail Stone. I am 21 years old. I graduated from Bedford North Lawrence High School. I currently live with my parents in a variety of pets, including three geckos, Kirishima, Ground Zero, and Aga. I'm a writer in my free time and an avid fan of anime and DC comics. Prior to the start of Project Surge, I was skeptical. I had fallen out of routine and I wanted to live more independently while also living in a more rural area uh, where transportation was an issue. I didn't have a clear idea of how to pursue my goals, but decided to jump in anyway. I knew that in the very least I would get experience. My first internship was assisting in the IT department at Stonebelt. As my first real work experience, it took getting used to. I helped with terminations, new hires, running errands, and, event, and even held down the floor while people were sick or on vacation. Throughout my time at Stoneboat, I met a lot of wonderful people, learned to manage my time, and overall found that the work I did was rewarding and enjoyed my time getting to know the team at Stoneboat and doing my part while I was there. As the winter months were closing mm -hmm. in, my second job was in Box Florida at the Cook Warehouse. There, I folded around 200 boxes or more a day. It gave me a lot of self-discipline working with little supervision, often listening to heavy metal while I worked. My third and final internship was with Cook and the CMI Kitchen. I had read to work, clock in, and spend most of the day cleaning tables, doing dishes, sweeping, and occasionally would help prepare food. Overall, I've taken a lot from this experience, both going past my limits while gaining the experience I need for further jobs. I look forward to using the free class at Ivy Tech as a head start as I pursue my career as an independent author. Until then, please enjoy this video of my time here in Project Search. Thank <laughs> you. 
Abigail, that was great. All right, next up we have Zach Webb. Zach came, also came into Project Search with no work experience. At first, he struggled with job expectations and getting used to the environment of a workplace, but he really came around when he was doing work that he enjoyed. Things really clicked in his second and third internships, and it was really enjoyable to watch someone grow that much in that short amount of time. Although Zach can be quiet at first, he opened up with experience and time. At his third internship, he impressed all his coworkers with his knowledge of warships, old video games, and everything in between. Zach and I didn't always see eye to eye, but we both managed to come around and see each other's side. Zach was open to constructive criticism and was able to find great ways to use his strengths in his internships. Because of Zach's great growth of his workplace skills, he wins the award or most improved. Zach has a little speech and video as well. Um, Zach, I'm gonna unmute you and let you take the floor. Uh, my name is Zach Webb. I'm 20 years old. I went to Owen uh, High School. I live near Freeman, Indiana with my parents, younger sister, younger brother, and all five pets, four dogs and one cat. I came to Project Search to learn job skills and get some job experience. First internship was at Cook Warehouse. There I folded boxes. They learned how to use a time clock. I also learned how to use a combination locker and how to ride the bus to work. My second internship was between them. Ivy Tech Library and Ivy Tech HR. I went to the library in the morning and at HR after lunch at the library. I stamped newspapers and magazines, set up DVD stuff, the printers took inventory, among other tasks. Uh, HR, I alphabetized documents and set the out folders for new hires. Uh, my last internship was at Ivy Tech facilities. There I sorted keys, sanitized classrooms, helped with fixing a sink, and moving chairs and tables for them. This internship was the most laid back as I mostly stored keys while waiting for tasks to do. My project stretch, I learned how to work with others as well. How to do tasks such as inventory and filing HR documents. My favorite internship was at Ivy Tech Philly due to the fact that no two day tasks were the same. 
Thank you for coming and joining my video. Thank you, Zach. Um, unfortunately, Isabel was not able to join us tonight, but we appreciated her throughout the program so much that I'm going to say some words about her anyways. Um, Isabel also came into Project Search with no experience after deciding that college wasn't a good fit for her. After the first day of her first internship, Isabel wasn't sure that this program was for her either. She almost didn't return. Thankfully, she was back the next day and ready to start fresh. Isabel pushed through internships that she didn't always enjoy and adapted to new rules and expectations that she wasn't used to. Isabel made strides in her third internship. She was working hard and really truly enjoying her work. Isabel and I were bummed she didn't get to see it through, but even in that short experience, hopefully taught Isabel that it's worth pushing through hard experiences to get to the great things that come from it. And I'm sure that she will use the skills from that internship in her employment going forward. Because of her ability to work through tough situations with a good attitude, Isabel wins the Perseverance Award. We're gonna show her Animoto as well because she worked so hard on it. Um, and so we will do that next.
Last but not least, we have Kim Skyvers. I want to start by commending Kim, who worked later than her classmates when COVID shutdowns began, just because she happened to be at a workplace that still allowed her to be there. Kim finished out her internship at work thanks to a supervisor who allowed her to, and a sister who was willing to drive her to work when I couldn't anymore. Shout out to Natalie. Although she was a bit jealous that her classmates were getting to sleep in and she wasn't, she put that aside and continued to work hard anyways. Secondly, I want to commend Kim for never having a single issue at any internship. This might be a project search first. Kim made friends at every position, never had a complaint about the work itself, always brightened everyone's days, both in the class and in the workplace. Between her Disney-themed outfits and kind-hearted compliments toward others, it's basically impossible to not make a friend in Kim. Every, every round, we give out one MVP award. This round, because of her perfect attendance, positive attitude, ability to adapt and thrive in any workplace, and overall work ethic, the MVP award goes to Kim. Kim, take it away with your speech. You should be good now. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Kim Skyvers, and I am excited to give this speech to you all. I am 23 years old, and I live with my mom and two dogs, but I want to move out someday. I graduated Bloomington High School South in 20, 2016 with a diploma. I love to draw, write my own story, and make up my own characters. I am also a big Disney fan. Before joining Project Search, I had a hard time waking up early, but I was excited to get to meet new people and try out new jobs. I already had work experience before Project Search, like working as a hostess at Scotty's Brew House and as a greeter at AMC Theaters on the east side. Through Project Search, I have gotten more work experience doing three different internships. My very first internship being at the warehouse at Upland Brewing Company. My second being in the kitchen at Cook Medical Incorporated or CMI. And my third was in the cafeteria at Cook Park 48. At Upland, I folded boxes stamped trays and put beer cans and bottles in their boxes. At CMI, I washed dishes, dusted cans, and swept the floors in their kitchen. At Park 48, I, I stocked the break rooms and wiped down tables. My favorite thing about Project Search was getting the opportunity to work at, at CMI and getting to meet and know all these wonderful people. I would like to thank our project search instructor, Karis Pickart, for being a wonderful teacher. I learned a lot from her. I would also like to thank all my supervisors and coworkers for having me. I will miss you all. What, what I learned here at Project Search is how to 
be more independent on the job and be a professional employee. And now I would like to present you, present to you all my Animoto video, video. So sit back and relax and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. All right, I'm going to hand it back over to Mary Ellen to close us out tonight. Thanks, Karis. I am not on mute, right? Can you hear me? You're good. All right. <laughs> After hearing from the interns and seeing all the skills that they've learned, I want to take this time to reflect on an important event that occurred 30 years ago. On July 26, 1990, President George W. Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act, also known as ADA law. This law prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities in all areas of public, public life, including jobs. What this says is that everyone can work. Stonebelt holds this belief as a core principle. During their time at Project Search, the interns gathered the necessary tools to be just, to not be just anyone that can hold employment, rather an employee that is an asset to a business, to a team, and to our communities. 
Other important variables that came out of these times were self-reflections on what they liked and didn't like. They are now prepared to pair with their job coaches and seek meaningful employment. Congratulations, interns, on your hard work. Lastly, I would like to take this time to thank a few people and our partners. The Office of Vocational Rehabilitation for funding the program, IUIIDC for their support of the program, Ivy Tech for hosting our classroom site as well as providing internships, Stonebell IT Department, Cook, and Upland Brewing for also hosting employment sites. Each of our, each of our employment partners have really stepped up to the plate individualizing roles and tasks and making each intern feel like part of the family. None of our partners need ADA law to tell them what's right because they are employers that know how to do it right. For that, we are more than grateful. Bitta Dewey is the director of the program and Leslie Green, the CEO of Stonebelt for all their support. The entire employment department at Stonebelt for working with the interns to discover long-term meaningful employment. Our fabulous instructor, Karis Pickart, for advocating for each intern individually across many different scenarios as if they were own, her own flesh and blood. And lastly, but certainly not least, the parents, guardians, and families for the support of the interns and the program. A support network is key in long-lasting success in this program, and here they gain a new and bigger support system, but the core of that always begins at home, so thank you families. If you have any questions regarding Project Search, please reach out to myself or Bitta Dewey's. You can find our contact information on the last slide. And this concludes our program for tonight. Everybody give yourselves a big round of Applause, we are super proud of you. Congratulations, interns. I know I said I wasn't gonna say anything, but this is Bitta Deweese. And I told Mary Ellen and Karis they could just do it all tonight and I would be quiet, but I can't. <laughs> I just wanna very quickly say to Zach and Abigail and Kim, your presentations were amazing. I think the fact that you finished Project Search in the midst of everything going on is incredible. And I know you're gonna go on to do great things. I want to say to Karis that I think you are amazing. Thank you for putting this presentation together and helping the interns to switch to virtual so that we could still have this tonight. We're going to miss you a lot. And Mary Ellen, thank you for your leadership and for the way you always have people's back and champion this program. Um, and now I'll stop. <laughs> thank you, Betta. That was awesome. <laughs> Um, I'll keep this information up on the screen. If you know anyone who might be interested, um, feel free to forward them this information or reach out to one of us. Um, and then lastly, do you want to unmute everyone so we can clap and say congratulations? Yes, I would love to. <laughs> nice job, guys. We're super proud of you. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, graduates. Oh, congratulations, guys. I'm so glad we got to do this. Even if it was just Zoom, it still was great. Don't forget to look for your packages in the mail sometime next week. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You guys are free to log off whenever you want. Thank you so much for coming and supporting. Thank you, guys. All right. I got to. <laughs> Bye, Abigail. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Kim. Bye. Oh, I can stop.